Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make certain parts of your avatar shiny apart from your the rest of your avatar. And as well as I'm going to be showing you how to do or how to make emission maps uh, in Substance Painter. Now this is the way that I make emissions. I know there's a few ways on how to do it, but today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do these things. I'm not gonna go too much into detail to not waste too much of your time, uh, but let's get started. So your emission map should look something like this. If you already have something like this, then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, and you can skip to this point of the video where I'm going to be showing how to make the certain parts of your avatar uh, metallic with this emission map. However, if you don't have an emission map, then stick around now because I'm going to be showing you how to do them. Now there's two ways on how you can do your emission map. If you prefer to do your textures in 2D, uh, then I already made a tutorial on how to make emission masks. It is a bit outdated, but it still works perfectly fine. However, if you're interested to learn how to make emissions in Substance Painter, then I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So first, what we need, of course, is to get your model into Substance Painter. So the way we do this is I will select my avatar and extend it and find body mesh. On the right side, you should see body. Just click on it, and then you're going to see this avatar right click on it show an explorer then right click here copy it and then go on your desktop and just paste it here now that you have your avatar you can simply drag it into your substance painter make sure that the resolution is set to 4k and then ok now that we have our model in substance painter you're going to click you're going to make sure that the body is selected and hit on this little bucket here then right click on this window add a paint layer Make sure that you have this little uh, thing selected. It's basically your mirror uh, option. Now, how do you actually add uh, or apply body textures? You would simply go in your Unity and uh, click and hold and drag your textures into here. Instead of undefined, make sure you select texture. And here you wanna, you can either set it as a current session or in all of your projects and just import. Now select the fill layer, right click in any of the just a free space and then click and hold and drag it into the base color. And as you can see, our texture is applied. We're going to go back on the paint layer. And now, as you can see, you're able to paint on your avatar. This is all done on one layer. I don't do many. I don't do more than one layer, but it should work either way. You want to go into the search bar and type in material and select any of the shiny materials. I would either prefer to go with uh, gold or aluminum. And as you can see, these are very, very shiny. One also tip. If you instead of material type in basic, make sure that you have basic hard as it's more sharper and it's going to look much better. And you just want to go back into the material, select the aluminium and there you go. Now I will suggest that you make uh, another copy of your body textures uh, as we're as we're going to edit these textures, but we're only going to use the emission map side of it. We're not going to use the body textures. So just make sure that you make a copy of your textures and then just use them to texture this. Now, basically, how would you now how would you make an emission map? Um, I would do, I would do it by hand, but if you want, you know, some s certain parts of your avatar glowy, you can just draw that area using this uh, aluminium brush. So you're able to just hand paint wherever you want your emission masks to be. Now we'll make a little bit demonstration. Let's say I wanted a heart right here. So now, how to export your textures is you would go file, export textures. Make sure that you only have body selected. You don't need extra stuff. In here, you want to select desktop with alpha, PNG, 4K, and with plus transparent and export that. And now on your desktop, you're basically going to see all of your materials that you exported, but you're interested into this one. As you can see, we have that little heart there. And this is basically the map that you're going to need and that you're going to use. This is your emission map. So as I said before, you just basically can hand draw with this where you want your emissions to be. If it's something more complex, um, sadly, it will take time. But most of the emission maps aren't, aren't that bad. But if you still prefer to do your emission maps in 2D, I already told you I made a video on it. So you can go and check that out. But this is just a simpler or easier way on how to do emission maps. Now that you have your emission map, I can show you how to make certain parts of your avatar metallic. So you want to find the material of your avatar. You want to extend shading and you want to extend matcap. And now where it says mask, you want to click and hold and drag your emission map into that sl slot. 
Now your avatar might appear white, but now you're going to type in Mad Cat. If you want to pull off something similar that I have, then you just want to click and hold the uh, gold Mad Cat and you want to drag it into the Mad Cat here. And now only those selected areas that you have uh, how your mission map looks like, it's going to be shiny and the rest of the avatar is going to be toony. This also, of course, works just uh, as an emission mask, of course, but you can also use your emission map to basically map out uh, if you want some of your parts to be either metallic or just this, you know, weird green or this brushed gold and just play around with it. You can mess around with mad caps. I made a whole video on these specifically showing you how they work in my previous video, if you saw. So this is just a nice little thing on what extra you can do with them. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and I hope that this tutorial helped. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go into more detail on how to do emission maps or if you want me to go ahead and make more videos about cool things you can do with matcaps. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around.